once again, the full faith and support for America's intelligence agencies. I have a full faith in our intelligence agencies. Whoops, they just turned off the light. That must be the intelligence agency. <laughs> Donald Trump was temporarily in the dark in the White House, and apparently he was in the dark for 24 hours after that Helsinki summit. He didn't know about the controversy, the firestorm that was swirling around him based on his comments about Russian election meddling. He read from a prepared statement in the White House on Tuesday afternoon, very carefully choosing his words and saying he wasn't exact with his words 24 hours earlier. Just to repeat it, I said the word would instead of wouldn't. I don't see any reason why it would be. The sentence should have been, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be Russia. Sort of a double negative. But does Donald Trump's explanation really make sense? If you look at his double negative, even if you take him at his words, it's pretty weak tea. It's not an overwhelming condemnation of Russian election meddling to Vladimir Putin's face. President Putin was extremely strong and powerful in his denial today. Although he offers his full faith in the U.S. intelligence services, he still leaves a little shadow of a doubt that someone else could be involved. He's not willing to point the finger wholeheartedly at Russia like his intelligence community is. I thought that the meeting that I had with President Putin was uh, really strong. I think that they were willing to do things that, frankly, I wasn't sure whether or not they would be willing to do. We never will really know what Vladimir Putin and Donald Trump discussed in those two hours where they met with just their translators. And that one hour press conference afterwards, they didn't go into a lot of details. Donald Trump tried to retrace his steps the following day and talk about what they did want to have action on. He talked about being strong on election security. But he'll never get back that moment to stand next to Vladimir Putin, look him in the face and say that he was to blame. Everything he does after this is just attempting to repair the damage that has already been done.